Hi everyone, welcome to Efficient and Proficient with me, Kevin Hua. Today we'll be doing a spark test. And the purpose of this video is to help you determine what filler metal to use to do your repair or weld. Here are the materials we'll grind today. I've got stainless steel, mild steel, aluminum, copper, and a cast. We're going to start with mild steel. So what I noticed with mild steel is I've got a long spark, a small burst, and it's orange in color. Now we're going to grind stainless. What I saw when I ground the stainless steel is a short spark with no burst and a little bit lighter orange in color. Now we're going to grind aluminum. With the aluminum, I notice no spark. Now I'll grind copper. With copper, I saw no spark. Now I'll be grinding this cast manifold. When I ground this cast manifold, I noticed a very short spark with a small burst and it was dark orange in color. Here I have five common filler metals. Here I have a 7018 electrode, a 308L electrode, a high nickel barium free electrode, what looks like copper filler, and aluminum filler. Let's grind into these and see if we can match our spark to our material. Having performed the spark test, I've determined that the 7018 best matches the mild steel, the 308L best matches the stainless, the aluminum filler matches the aluminum, the high nickel barium free matches the cast, and what looks like copper may not always be copper. That's why the spark test is important. So notice that the 7018 and the mild steel have the same characteristics. Notice that the 308L and the stainless steel have the same characteristics. Notice that the aluminum filler rod have the same characteristics as the aluminum bar. Notice that the high nickel barium free electrode have the same characteristics as the manifold. At first glance, 
these materials look similar. But by doing the spark test, we noticed that they did not match at all. You can see how the spark test is a quick and easy way to determine what filler material you're going to use to weld or repair. Thanks for watching Efficient and Proficient with me, Kevin Huang.